good looking gamers, my name is TMKG, or known as the Mexican Kid Gamer. Today I'm showing you guys a tutorial how to do the wolf bow in Horizon Draca in Black Ops 3 Zombies. The wolf bow is one of the easiest bows out of the four. Out of the four is one magma bow, second void, third lightning, and fourth would be wolf. Wolf out of them is the easiest one, the simple easiest one i'm gonna make a tutorial for this because a subscriber commented that they don't know how to do these bows and i i just wanted to show a video for him and my other fellow you my youtubers and my subscribers so let's get started guys i uh, really appreciate if you smash that like button this is a non no nonsense tutorial how to get the bo upgraded bow and the rise and draka so thank you guys for watching peace out i'll see you guys in the video Okay, guys, now to uh, tame the arrow to do the quest for the bow, you have to find these pictures in a specific order to get it. See, the, the, the frame still stay the same, but the picture isn't. So, right there, uh, to memorize the order, it, it goes like this. It goes, uh, throne, war, mountain, arrows. And that's how I remember it. Uh, the frames stay the same. The pictures don't. So right there under the clock tower. There's one of them. And. After I kill all these zombies. <laughs> I have this pre-recorded by the way. So going up to the clock tower. We, we will see the first painting. Go up to it and hold square. Keep holding square. If it doesn't work keep get off it and then get on the painting until this blue light of wolf symbols will appear right there and when now you can move on to the next step to get to the next painting the next painting is war which you go under the clock tower and you'll see here go up to it and hold square and Kapuya, the blue symbol will appear and yes now you go to the next one which is on the up other side of speed cola then you turn right where you see the m8a7 then you'll see this beautiful thing you, you, it's mountains and this what you see you see the giant from sorry we i had to cut uh cut right there uh right there you see the monster from shadows of evil uh it is crazy it, it that's what from it's from shadows of evil when you do the pack punch and it's in the sky so the next location is past uh where are you opening up to power so you go up here uh there's the door you have to open then you and the other side is samantha's room and you could guess this is arrows and that is our friendly giant <laughs> leroy from buried Sorry I have to cut in every quote quote, it's just how Nikolai does these awesome quotes. So after getting all the paintings of uh, our Leroy from Black Ops 2 buried map, awesome. Okay, after obtaining all the paintings, go to the Bastion, go down the stairs, not slowly, you can- And here you could uh, tame the bow. So now you can start the quest and see the first step. Next is going to the rocket launch pad and uh, trying to hit a red flag. Um, to shoot, if you shoot it, a skull will drop. So you go to the rocket launch pad right here. Here's the location where I'm going to. Right here on top of the mountain, you see a red flag. Shoot it, and I, I, I'm so bad shooting this. I missed like two, three times already. I, I, I sucked at this. How to kill these guys. Round. Start. There. I had enough time to shoot it. Like, here's, here's me missing five times. And then when you hit it, eventually, when you eventually hit it, it would drop a blue thing. It will roll down off the mountain, then right here in this location. Pick it up, hold square, then you could do to the next step. Then go to the pyramid and go to one of these box. Go to the box that corresponds with your bow. Right here you can see the symbol. That's your symbol for your bow. Hold square. Then a, a wolf would appear. A ghost wolf. Follow it. 
then you could do the next step. So when you follow the wolf, it will take you to this. It will take you to a place right here. It will stop. You you could watch the animation. It, I opened box here because you know I sell key weapons. And it will loop around, and you could just follow the tracks if you lose it. Then it will howl. It will dig. Then it will howl. Right there. Then when you now. When the dog is done absorbing souls, it will dig a hole and drop a blue thing. And it is bones for the part to, to get the full arrow. Because the, the air, you only got arrow pieces when you got it. So now the dog will start moving after you picked it up. After the dog keeps having souls. So now all you have to do is follow it. Follow the blue tracks or follow, follow the actual dog. And I'll take you to the front courtyard, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, I don't I don't know the names for these <laughs> for these locations sometimes. Well, near double tap, down the slope of double tap, and near one where for the magma bow. Now, right here, this is where it's gonna start digging. Then the dog will move a little. Then it will start barking and howling. Right there you see that little animation. Now all you do again is feed the uh what's it called the dog now i'm going to time lapse it but without without like putting some music this time uh i'm just going to be talking with you guys so this this whole thing you have to feed the dog three times to do this and and it takes a while uh yes it'll take a while now follow the dog to its last location now it's near one of the pack a punch locations now it's now it's a waiting game. Now you have to feed the dog for the last time. You have to feed it zombie souls until it will give you the next bone. After it's done, now you could pick it up, pick off the last bone, and you you finish the part. After you pick up the bone, you could. Now it's a waiting time until uh, anti gravity comes up. Now when anti gravity comes on. Jump and wall run on the walls. Go where the dog is looking up and shoot those symbols and they will create a platform. I didn't hit it the first time like you see me failing really, really bad. Uh, I missed so much times. Right here I just hit it. But the platform is creating itself so I had to loop around. Go back and then there is the platform. Now watch the magic appear. And there we go, guys. You have picked up your upgraded arrow. Now all you have to do is go up to the boss that corresponds with your bow, right here, where you put down the skull to to obtain the uh, ghost dog. Now, when you click, hold, go to the box and hold square. It doesn't only give you a max ammo. It, it now you can upgrade your bow. But first, you have to. Keep feeding souls. You probably fed like 5,000 zombies to this to obtain this bow. But it's, it is worth it because this bow is really, really good. Not as good as the other ones, but the easiest and simple one for this. Now it's just the waiting game. Feeding zombies until your box won't attain more. And after when your bow is done, I mean your arrow is done, go up to it and hold square or X if you're on Xbox. So right here my my thing is done. It stopped absorbing souls, so I go up to it, hold square, and now it, it, it ethereal energy beam. It looks pretty dope, not gonna lie. Then now you can pick it up. It, now it verifies you that you completed the whole step. You can see in the corner, now it's gone. But now you have obtained the upgraded wolf bow. And it's called the Krill Krill Krillaloo Kraz whatever. It is a pretty BA bow. It takes down Panzers three. No, it took me two shots. One shot hit. No, actually, it took me three. One shot hit the sock shark <laughs> sock shock charge, and then the other two hit the Panzer. So it takes basically took two shots to kill the Panzer. And now I'm gonna have a little, little clip, but I'm still gonna be talking for this. If you enjoyed the bows, hit the like button. Hit the like button to see the next one. The next one is going to be lightning. Then probably magma. Then void. Because the void, I have no idea to do. You have to do, like speak another language to do that crap. 
now here comes a clip where I defeated the Panther. Well, leading up to the Panther. Because, you know, every round 12, the Panther spawns in. So this bow is really, really awesome. Not as good as the other bows. Um, that's what I just said. But it's not that good. Now, it is good, but not that good. Lightning, for my opinion, Lightning is the best one. So probably next episode, if you guys enjoyed this one, uh, Lightning is up next. See, look, it just took me two shots to kill that Panther. It is on the ground. So thank you guys for watching this video.